Hey, Gary, it is moving straight east right along 149th Street. Man, if you live there, you... Yeah, yeah, yeah. 149th Street, I guess. Okay. There is just a... The 2013 Moore tornado was a devastating EF5 tornado that struck the city of Moore, Oklahoma on May 20th, 2013. The tornado was part of a larger severe weather outbreak that affected the Great Plains region of the United States. What was even causing this though? Well, the SPC released a day one outlook showing Oklahoma, parts of Arkansas, and Missouri in a moderate risk, including Moore, Oklahoma. After the tornado warning was issued, all the TV channels would switch over to the K4 Storm team just to see this. Right there, zoom in. Then Come back to your left, Iris. Up there it is, Mike. There it is. If, if that is a tornado, there it is. It's right there on the ground. That's the clearest defined or definition that we've seen from the air. A definite cone yeah. on the ground. Uh, so this is going to be just probably four or five miles north of uh, I-44, where it turns down south on the uh, Bailey Turnpike. Uh, it looks like it's tracking uh, northeast from our spot. Let me turn here and get a little bit better picture. I'm directly over the Newcastle High School, and I'm shooting uh, pretty much at this time straight north. There's a water tower just north of me, um, and I obviously can't make it out to see exactly what street that is, but that's where, that's where your tornado is right there. Look at it, Mike, on the ground, coming down. There's you a lot better shot. And, man, this dude, we're getting pretty close to it. It's yeah. going to be just a couple miles north of the Bailey Turnpike. When the tornado dropped to the ground, it would quickly intensify into a violent wedge tornado. Mike Morgan would advise people to get into their safe spots, but the tornado kept getting bigger. And then this scary moment happened. This is, this is essentially, you never want to say it, but we're going to say it right now. This is May 3rd all over again as far as the intensity of this tornado, where it is heading. And, and it's something has to change fast or it's going to be very close to a May 3rd event. Never want to say that, but that's what we have right now. It is shrouded in debris. You, it, and it's a low wedge shrouded in debris. It's still on the ground back up in here. Mike Bennett? Mike Bennett? Yes, Mike. I'm still getting it. Those words people thought they would never have to hear or say again. But it was said, and this tornado was almost a 2.0 clone of May 3rd, 1999. Okay, let's go to the storm tracker. Tornado emergency now in effect for more. Tornado emergency for more. You folks in more, you need to grab whatever it is you need to grab and you need to go underground. Bottom line, grab your kids, grab your loved ones, grab your friends, or just get out of the way. Tornado emergency for more. Big half mile wide plus tornado shrouded in debris uh, on the northern side of the Newcastle Casino. Downtown Moore, Westmore, all neighborhoods back down to Pennsylvania and Southwest 149th and 164th. It is a mile wide debris cloud. It is a mile wide wedge, violent tornado. The only way you're going to guarantee you will survive is if you are out of the way, below ground, storm cellar or basement. Safe room. That's it. Nothing else is going to do it. Do not ride this out in your home. Interior closet or bathroom, don't. You're better off if you're over here around downtown Moore right now just to you have just enough time to get out of its way if you can't get below ground get out of its way but you don't have any time left you can't you can't wait any longer it's got to be done immediately and just drive to the east away from it it is kind of it may come into south oklahoma city near crossroads mall we have a crew at crossroads mall and we can take them as soon as we can uh, get them to come up but it's going to come up it could go as far north as crossroads mall even up toward dell city and midwest city. Let's go back to Bob Moore Chopper 4 with John Welsh. Go, John. Yeah, Mike, Take we're showing you that right there. And that, that's really the, the best picture that, that we can give you is because this thing is completely wrapped in rain and debris. Uh, winds are just absolutely killer up here. I'm at Indian Hills Road and uh, just about, uh, I guess, what, 48th southeast uh, behind the, uh, like the Andy Alligators, the heyday, if, if you guys are familiar. Tornado has not hit more yet, but it's on a dead track too, and potentially it's gonna hit Dell City as well. They would actually get a pretty good picture of the tornado just earlier, maybe 19 minutes into the broadcast. But this thing was massive and it was violent. 
south here at Moore, Southmore High School. Uh, you, you can see our see our video. Uh, it is just it's absolutely massive. It's just shredding everything in front of it. Uh, we're shooting out the side glass here right now, but it's just tracking straight uh, east down 19th Street. Uh, we tracked right over the area where we was at. We went in uh, probably a quarter to half mile from it uh, before we had to turn around bail. Violet, violet motion, a huge debris cloud wrapped around it. Uh, zoom in tighter on that debris cloud. Um, okay, it uh, looks like maybe, Mike, it may be actually starting to lift a little bit more north now than east. Hang on, just a minute, Mike, we'll get out. This tornado now is located at between Penn and Western. It's a mile wide, and it covers the whole area between Penn and Western uh, at South 19th Street. It looks like it's about an EF4. It could be an EF5. Makes no difference. you got to be below ground and tear your closet or bathroom is not going to do it or get out of its way. Storm cellar, basement, or safe room or below ground of any kind. Do not be in your car near the tornado. Drive away from it if you have no option to save your life. Abandon where you are if you cannot get below ground. South 19th at uh, exactly at uh, Western Avenue right now is where that is. Go Mike Bennett. Essentially what Mike Morgan is saying is your normal safe room is no longer safe. You have to find a basement or get out of its way. Draper Lake right towards the water treatment plant at this time and it's really it's really fizzling out as we're seeing I'm going to do another turn here I'm getting kind of far away but uh, it looks like it's roping out a little bit and it, this is over like 149th Street and uh, maybe just the east side of Air Depot Road there it is it's gone Mike so let's see we're going to stay right here we're going to see if it recycles but it's completely roped out uh, or it's continuing to rope out as we speak right now and it looks like it's roping out at Air Depot Road and uh, I'm going to say 134th Street right in that area. So, man, look at that rope on that thing. This tornado was rated in EF5. Though it was a short-lived tornado, it ruined hundreds of lives. 
This tornado would kill 24 people, injuring 212 people, showing that Mother Nature can be good and also very bad. And I'm gonna say this again. With storms, the worst is eventually going to happen.